I love really any project that's taking neuroscience technology out of the lab into kind of new context. I have been working with this technology for some time and developing various different kinds of experiences that aim to create a direct connection uh, to how we feel and think about music. Dolby Atmos creates, especially in, in this lab here, which is, you know, soundproof, very controlled environment. It creates a super immersive experience with really all other stimuli taken out. So from a data collection point of view, it creates the same experience for all the participants as much as it can be. The content of the music is as immersive as it gets right now. One thing that is exciting about this project is that working with the Dolby Atmos version of Great Gig in the Sky as the stimulus for the study that we're running because it could yield some very interesting results in terms of how people experience immersive sound. I'm an artist as well as a neuroscientist and so I can also translate the science and the data to the creative team so that they can make better decisions about how to use the brain data to, to power uh, this artistic representation of the song. It's combining all my personal areas of interest. I mean it intersects science, music and, and art and it's it kind of encapsulates all of the things I'm really fascinated in. So I have a personal motivation that goes beyond Pink Floyd. We started this thing a few days ago and one of the most common um, comment is I am rediscovering the track, I'm actually finding elements that I didn't even remember were there in the first place, which is actually a quite common comment, um, not just for this, but for other tracks, for other projects, where people really uh, come across as rediscovering elements that they didn't even know were there or that they kind of lost a little bit in the original mix. It satisfies my feeling of responsibility to try and celebrate the music and extend its, the legacy and find engaging ways for new audiences to respond but also personally I'm it's it's really something that I'm very much um, interested in. I was just really curious about, I think just on a personal level, like how music affects like the mind and the brain. And I do a lot of work with like music and dementia. And I think just to see what you guys were doing, trying to see what is going on when you listen to music, because it is so powerful. It is so like physiologically, like emotionally, it kind of affects you in so many different ways. And to sort of see what you guys are doing, I was like, oh God, I've got to be a part of that. The Great Gig in the Sky is a really beautiful piece of music. The ending of the mix, which has a huge emotional impact, is extraordinary. The singer's voice suddenly becomes totally centered in front of you, whilst the piano is, is beautifully, ethereally spaced out <laughs> around. It's quite lovely at my age, approaching 68, to have a new musical exp experience with something that I've loved for so many years. I'm just fascinated with the perception of sound and how it works and why it has such a tremendous power uh, to elate and uplift and what makes it, what makes it so powerful, what makes it so, so profound and I feel Atmos is a good tool to maybe come closer to this answer. And one thing I really love about this project is that we're bringing all these different people's experience of this music together through data. We're bringing everyone's brains together and then using that collective data set to generate this visual experience that then goes with the music. It occurred to me that actually there's a very simple and effective way to represent this data and I thought of clouds because of my father's fascination with them. It is really trying to think about what he would have liked to see if there was a visual put to this piece of music. So we are squarely focused on music and sound but at the same time we uh, have to speak the language of visual as well. This sort of takes it one step further. Visualizing the brain signal compounds the impact, the sort of emotional impact of understanding what you're seeing or hearing as it relates to your internal world. It's really going to be a journey. It's going to be a journey inside the song. It's going to be a journey inside the, visualiz inside the visualization and inside the minds of all these participants that, you know, aggregating all the data that actually have responded to this and how they reacted to that.
and I think it's going to be extremely enjoyable and, and interesting. I mean, we have here a, 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 an example, a two-dimensional render of how that's going to look like, but that's just giving you a glimpse to what is going to be a much more detailed uh, and, and fully immersive experience. So really look, looking forward to that.